think you could do pretty well at a GIS or Geographic Information Systems themed crossword puzzle? Consider these clues. 16 across, a spatial term denoting features that overlay or cross each other. A spatial term denoting features that overlay or cross each other. 40 across, type of thematic map in which areas are symbolized in proportion to a variable that represents a summary of a geographic characteristic within each area. Let's read that again. 40 across, type of thematic map in which areas are symbolized in proportion to a variable that represents a summary of a geographic characteristic within each area. How about this? 69 down. University of Kansas cartographer George, who devised the natural breaks classification. 69 down. University of Kansas cartographer George, who devised the natural breaks classification. 295 down. The standard deviation of the residuals. The standard deviation of the residuals, or prediction errors. Still feeling confident? Good. Now you're ready to tackle the crossword and show the world your amazing GIS knowledge. Now, the essay described here includes everything you need, including the following documents. Number one, the, the blank GIS crossword provided in Excel and PDF formats. Why Excel? Well, then you could use the template that I created to create your own GIS crossword that's customized for you in the future. Number two, the GIS crossword solution. Again, provided in Excel and also PDF formats. Open these only if you are really, really stuck. And after talking with your GIS colleagues, need a lifeline. Number three, the clues to the crossword, provided in Microsoft Word and PDF formats. Again, so you can modify this to create your own quiz tailored to your particular field of GIS. Maybe it's transportation, maybe it's natural resources, hydrography, etc. Or your region of the world, or your native language. Ooh, over 400 clues. 400 clues exist in the crossword, so it should provide some hours of enjoyment. You could use this as a set of quiz questions for something like GIS Day. Or you could show this at another event that you are hosting or participating in. How many answers can individuals or teams would be even more fun come up with in say five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes? Need some help? Network. Consult with your GIS friends. During these travel restricted times, holding a crossword solving session in Zoom might be a fun way to interact with your colleagues. You instructors, you could use this as a fun way to test your students' GIS knowledge. I encourage you to try it without consulting any external documents. But if you truly need some resources, consider these lists of GIS acronyms that I've included in the essay. There's one from Land Info, there's one from UCAL Berkeley, there's one from Shasta County, California, and I've also included a general acronyms list. The ArcGIS Pro documentation might also come in handy, but you'll do fine on your own. Have fun and no peeking, no peeking at the answers. Now, let me give you a couple of the solutions if you haven't thought about it already. But 40 across, that was type of thematic map in which areas are symbolized in proportion to a variable that represents a summary of a geographic characteristic within each area. Choropleth, choropleth. 69 down, University of Kansas cartographer George who devised the natural breaks classification. That's George Jenks, Rock Chalk, University of Kansas. What about the others? Well, you need to solve those. Have fun, continue mapping and doing GIS, and let me know what you think.